hi guys welcome to the channel of love okay i'm here with a monday message for you we have three decks of cards we have the witch's tarot the oracle of shadows and light and the sacred spirit reading cards okay let's have a look and see what's on the cards this monday see what the story is three of cups that's about celebrating about celebrating but i only really feel that the middle lady is actually a lady the others i feel is the divine masculine and um he's embraced the divine feminine that's within him um what was coming through was the message about unlocking your potential and uh with divine counterparts they both unlock um the other's potential within Let's just leave it like that. Okay, let's just leave it like that because it seems that it's working. The Sun card. And that is a pure divine masculine energy. The Sun. The Sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray. And he wants to come out to play. Okay, there's a Knight of... A knight in shining armour is a knight of swords. So the masculine is wanting to play now. The song that's coming through is more, more, more. How do you like it? How do you like it? Unconditional love. We like it overflowing. It's a very nice balanced energy here for the divine masculine. And he's balanced because he's embraced his divine feminine. Uh, it feels like you're not separate. Well, he's feeling like you are not separate. Okay. But he's feeling the separation. And this is the gap that he's wanting to close now. And this love is just flowing now. It's like free flowing. Um, so I want to say about you have your own free will. And then we have the divine will. But it's all flowing together now. This is the masculine working with the divine, co-creating. Um, co-creating. Going through the transition here. So very sunny energy in winter time. You can see that this is um, this is a process that will take place over uh, winter. I want to say Christmas time. But this snowdrop here, when you see a snowdrop, it announces that the winter is nearly over and spring is on its way. Okay. There's the message. I'm not allowed to play around with it too much. Let's get some oracle cards. This masculine's liking it. He wants more, more. It, it feels like energy. It's solar energy. Um, there's the card. Violet, violet, yeah, violent. It felt like I said violent angel. There's no violence here. Violet angel. And there's no pressure either. This is um, the masculine's own free will. But he knows that it's, it's kind of the divine will. I felt like when somebody leaves a will and their request this is the divine's request for the divine masculine uh, a breaking dawn takes me with the ace of cups here card number 23 which takes me to five Two and three brings us to a five, and we've got the transition here, the five of pentacles. It was predicted in my readings a while back now that there'll be no movement until spring. There is movement, but um, it feels like it's very much going on with the divine masculines internally. It feels like their higher self is guiding them. The higher uh, divine masculine is helping the previously distorted mas masculine, this masculine isn't distorted anymore, not in his vision. 
but he's alchemizing to this over the winter months. Okay, card number 23. Let's read the message. About Violet Angel. This beautiful angel appears when something new is on the horizon. She is the colour of dawn and she waits for you to become aware of these wonderful possibilities. When she appears, it is a sign that many wonderful coincidences, events, friendships and changes you've been longing for are about to arrive at last. She wishes to arouse you so you will be ready to take full advantage of all the new blessings that are coming soon. Wake up and ready yourself. The Violet Angel speaks. There have been times recently when you felt you've lost your spark and that your physical body has been exhausted, almost as if you were born tired. That's so interesting. Yesterday I was having a conversation with the Divine Masculines and I actually said to them, it's like you were born tired. It's like they needed some get up and go. It has been a long night of the soul, but now I am here to let you know that not only has the worst passed, the best is on the horizon. It is faint, but it is gathering energy but it is on its way. It's a solar energy here. Soon, <clears throat> I'm still a little congested, guys. I'm sure you can maybe... Uh... Oh, sorry, darling. Whereabouts do you want to come and sit? Do you want to sit on the stool or do you want to come up with us? I'm sure that you can hear that within me, that I'm still a little bit... Um... Under the weather. It is what it is. So soon, with this new dawn, your energy will begin to flow again and you'll feel reconnected to your own internal power source once more. Your spirit will blossom and your intuition will hum. Please awaken earlier and be ready to begin our work on this new project by spending time outside in nature in the early morning. The divination message. With fresh hope, after a difficult time, something new breaks through and shows evidence of its approach and with it, your new reality. You have good reason to feel optimistic, cheerful and like something has changed on a permanent basis. You are on the verge of a new day and it is in these delicate and faint beginnings that something strong and bright will come. Do not wish to hurry up to the brightest part of the day. Do not wish it to hurry up to the brightest part of the day. Enjoy this tender new birth of a time which you have long, hope, long hoped for. Gratitude and awakenings, early rising and trying new things are all on the agenda when this beautiful violet angel of spiritual new awakenings flies into your life. Page 100 and 101. That was a good message. Let's have a look at the Sacred Spirit reading cards. Pulled out the insert as well. Okay, well, we've got a card left in there, so... Eternal union, new love is forming. Beautiful card. Card number 15. Oh, the card before it is energy signature. New love is forming, strengthen your relationships. 
In a lifetime, we are destined to meet many members of our soul group and soul family. Many of them enter through life as a soulmate, fated to teach us lessons about unconditional love and ourselves, unlocking um, our potential within. There's the un unconditional love here. A soulmate can be a friend, family member, work colleague, partner, neighbour, or someone you strongly disagree with, clashing with every time you are around each other. When a soulmate enters your life, they offer your soul support, guidance and growth, whether physically, emotionally or spiritually. You may feel you have known them forever, or you may be instantaneously comfortable in their presence. Dependent upon what your soul needs, a soulmate may be a brief encounter or this relationship could last a lifetime. Acting as a catalyst for growth, these souls are here to teach you something new. Currently meeting new people will bring great conversations. Interesting people will enter your life now to teach you something valuable about yourself and your interests or passions in life. Social gatherings and casual meetups will create opportunities for meaningful connections. Right now, you are being encouraged to actively listen to others. For those who you despise or see as enemies, view these people as possible soul connections. They are there to teach you life lessons and challenge your structured belief systems. This new understanding will deepen the love you have for others, including new and existing partnerships, opening doors for an expression of eternal union. This living expression of love will influence romantic connections, including marriage with long-term commitments possible now. The expression of eternal union between two souls will bring new levels of love on an emotional, physical, mental and spiritual connection. True love is limitless. The shadow aspect is introversion, restlessness, disenfranchised. The sacred crystal is emerald. The angel assistance is Archangel Haniel, attracting meaningful relationships. And the affirmation? I am a living and loving expression of the eternal union. I am blessed that you are. I'll catch up with you guys soon. Enjoy your day. Take care. Much love. Bye for now.